Our body is composed of trillions of cells. Inside cells, various proteins are continuously produced and broken down. Autophagy is this breakdown system and its mechanism was discovered by Professor Osumi. He won the Nobel Prize. Previously, this autophagy was considered to be the sole mechanism promoting bulk protein degradation. However, we discovered a second type of autophagy called alternative autophagy. Two autophagy is different in terms of related molecules, membrane sources, and substrates. They degrade different proteins and play different roles in the cell. We have already shown that alternative autophagy is required for erythrocyte maturation, insulin secretion, and so on. Interestingly, despite these differences, both types of autophagy are under control of ALK1. Dr. Tori identified the molecular mechanisms of how ALK1 generates each autophagy. We previously reported that dephosphorylation of ALK1 at serine 637 by PPMAN-D enhances the initiation of ATG5-dependent canonical autophagy. However, the regulatory mechanism of ALK1 activation in alternative autophagy remains unclear. In this research, we searched for ALK1 phosphorylation required for the induction of alternative autophagy induced by a toposhido, a DNA damaging reagent. As a result, we discovered that ALK1 was phosphorylated at serine 746 upon etoposhido treatment. This signal diminished in ATG5 ALK1 DKO cells and expression of ALK1 wild type, but not serine 746A phosphodeficient mutant recovered phosphorylation signal. In addition, phospho ALK1 was localized on Golgi, from which alternative autophagy generates. We next analyze the causal relationship between ALK1 phosphorylation and alternative autophagy. To this end, we used MRP GFP tandem proteins. Autolysosomes are detected as red functor because GFP fluorescence becomes weak within acid lysosomal components. Red functor were generated in ATG5 knockout cells and ALK1 expressing DKO cells but not DKO cells and ALK1 mutant expressing DKO cells. These results were consistent with the induction of ALK1 phosphorylation. We next investigated the kinase responsible for this ALK1 phosphorylation because the target sequence of ALK1 is similar to the sequence of LIPK3 targets. We focused on LIPK3. Immunofluorescence assays showed that Etoposhido induced phosphorylated ALK1 signals on Golgi and alternative autophagy were observed in ATG5 knockout cells and LIPK3 expressing ATG5 LIPK3 DKO cells, but not in DKO cells and kinase deficient LIPK3 expressing DKO cells. Thus, LIPK3 phosphorylates ALK1 and phosphorylated ALK1 translocated to the Golgi and induce alternative autophagy. Finally, we elucidated how LIPK3 is activated upon etoposhido treatment, and we suspected the environment of P53, a master regulator of genotoxic stress. As expected, upregulation of both LIPK3 messenger RNA and protein were observed in ATG5 knockout cells, but not ATG5 P53 DKO cells. Thus, LIPK3 activation upon genotoxic stress was thought to be induced by P53 dependent transcriptional upregulation. From our research, DNA damage activates P53 and P53 induces LIPK3 expression. And then, ALK1 is phosphorylated by LIPK3 at serine 746. Phosphorylated ALK1 translocates to the Golgi and activates alternative autophagy. We have recently generated neuron-specific alternative autophagy deficient mice. They exhibit neurological disorders including clasping and walking abnormality due to cerebral neuron degeneration. We conclude that phospho-ALK1 dependent alternative autophagy is required to maintain cerebral neurons. Thank you very much.